All right, so I'm here at the ISSN conference, and you want to state your name and what yeah, you're talking about? I'm uh, Dr. Doug Beavis from uh, Minnesota, from uh, uh, Lipid Technologies, and we have an omega-3 blood test, the home and omega-3 test. It measures your omega-3 levels in your blood. Nice. And why is that a big deal? Why do we care? Well, uh, because a lot of Americans walking around are really low in their omega-3. They're actually deficient in omega-3, and that's a risk factor for a lot of different disease states, especially heart disease, and raising your blood levels up uh, to around 8% or 8% of your fatty acids or omega-3 significantly reduces your risk of dying from cardiovascular disease, improves your potential for cognitive function, mental health, a lot of things that uh, dietary supplementation with omega-3 has been shown to, shown to help. Nice. That probably explains why we hear about fish oil all the time. It does. It does. You're, you're perturbating those blood levels of omega-3. You're kind of changing your biochemistry with that nutrient. So can we just take omega-3 as a supplement, or do we have to take fish oil? There's lots of different types of omega-3. You can take uh, any kind of supplements that you want to. Um, Plant-based supplements like flax, you have to take a little bit more. There's nothing wrong with flaxseed, but we eat a lot of omega-6 that competes with omega-3 for metabolism. So without the omega-6, omega-3 is metabolized really well from flaxseed, but uh, if you're going to take flaxseed, you're going to need to take uh, quite a bit more to combat the omega-6 and get metabolism into EPA and DHA. So that's probably why you're more about fish oil since they're more of the reduced form of omega-3, so to speak? I think you do, and, and clinically, uh, therapeutic doses are, are best achieved with, with preformed EPA and DHA or giving things like fish oil. But for normal human health, I tell people to eat sources of dietary omega-3, flax, walnuts, chia, green leafy vegetables, limit your omega-6 intake, try to eat fish, and also take a, a quality fish oil supplement as well. Cool. So if someone wants to get their uh, omega-3 tested, how would they go about doing that if they're watching the video? Omega3test.com. Okay. It's on the web. So. Cool, great. Thank you very much. Thanks Appreciate very much. it.